This video is brought to you by DistroKid. Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Here's how Porter Robinson would write the Valorant Champions theme, Die For You, featuring Grabbits. Grab the acapella of the song using a website like Lalal AI. Set the BPM to 95. Normally, you'd drag the vocals beat to line up on the first line. But this song's cool because the vocal starts off beat. Time slows down. So use the original to help line it up and use the metronome to make sure you're on beat. Time slows down when it can get no worse. The original song's progression is very dissonant and dark and cool. And as a certified sad boy, I'm I'm none of those. So using a detuned super saw, write a sad yet uplifting chord progression that uses lots of suspended chords, but still complements the original vocal. Get used to it. Because it's going to be used for the whole song. Don't worry, though. We'll make it work. Plus, if you get stuck, <laughs> I've enlisted some help from the best of the best. So I I'd like to thank you all for coming in and, and helping me out with today's songwriting session. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Ash. Uh, I'm a producer based out of Toronto. And Hola. Hello. First thing I want to ask is, are we familiar with Porter Robinson? Open up the sky! Um, no. The song's actually called Look at the Sky. Nice try, mate. Not, not you either. Okay, here's the strat, guys. What I'm saying is we got to change the vocal to sound like that song, but let's also combine it with elements from his hit uh, 2015 album, World. You guys down to help? Just some good old hard yakka. Standing in between us and victory. I don't know what that means, but let's stay focused. Add a little altar boy and a delay on the slight slap setting. And these are the settings I used. This will switch Gravitz's smooth vocal into the now iconic Porter Robinson baby voice. Because obviously Porter is baby and we need to protect him at all costs. He deserved that Grammy nomination. Who will they cry for? Once they know they're going to die. Sorry, what was that, Fred? This is a remix, dude. We already, we've already got the lyrics. We don't need you to spit. Split. Ah, they don't know the meaning of the word. Hey, you know what? I like the sound of your voice, though. Do you mind if I just set up a parallel vocoder using Ableton's group feature and creating a chain? Route the vocoder through the chords you just made. Add a reverb to the vocode layer and mix everything together so that it sounds balanced and minimal. Finally, disable the chord layer and enjoy the fruits of your labor. I will take back what is mine. Hey, don't worry, you'll, you'll get credit. Using the root notes of the chords, write a bass line onto a sub bass. Bring it in at the eighth bar, because we're going to build up to something. Write a cute little melody onto a delayed pluck. You want to match the vibe of the anime visuals that will eventually accompany this song. And finally, layer in some rain in the background. So that no one can tell that you're already crying because you just finished episode three of Arcane. Altogether, it should sound like this. Make a drum rack and place a nice beefy kick. Layer that kick with a crash and hats on the quarter note. 
to make this build up as dramatic as the auto lock silver reina on your team that's bottom fragging put the kick at the beginning of each bar if i act superior it's because i am reina chill copy the chord progression onto some super saws layer every chord with each kick for maximum dramaticness layer in a choir because choirs make anything epic no this is patrick add the best gun in the game as an impact as a treat for the gamers once again using the root notes of the chords, make a chunky bass line because we need sounds to fill, just like I do during comp games because the same auto lock Rainer refused to play smokes. You can see how to make this in the how to future bass like Nerco video that you'll watch after this. But if you see my other videos, you know that today's sponsor, DistroKid, is the best way to release your music independently. And although Spotify is awesome for discovering new music, I'ma be real with you, they are not paying artists enough. Like, where is that monthly sub money going? Wouldn't it be dope if your biggest fan's monthly streaming subscription went to you instead of the CEO, whatever his name is? We don't need to give him any more clout. Enter Tidal, one of the streaming services that DistroKid uploads to. And along with their higher artist royalties, they just introduced a brand new revenue stream called Direct Payout. How it works is each month you're the most listened to artist of a title, Hi-Fi Plus subscriber, up to 10% of their monthly subscription fee goes directly to you. Once you've earned at least $50 from it, Tidal will send you the money via DistroKid. As always, DistroKid doesn't take a cut from this, and this is all on top of your normal royalties. <laughs> now you're like, Ash, this sounds amazing. How do I get this set up? It's easy. All you got to do is opt into the program in order to start getting direct payments. And it's at distrokid.com slash title artist payments link in the description. So get your listeners on title and fight the power all possible through DistroKid, where you can get 7% off your first year because you watch my videos. Just sign up with my VIP link also below. Thank you so much to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to this song. Write a top line melody that complements the chord stack and put it onto a flute lead By combining Corpus with OTT, Erosion, and Camel Crusher, we can give it texture and grit. Click the triangle and map the MIDI from the same flute lead so that the Corpus stays in key. And let the third hit a little longer for variation. Add a granulator and bring in a string sample. I used this one from Splice. Copy the melody from the flutes over and set grain size to around 33. Solo out the flute and the granulator at the same time, hitting the grain button, adjust your pitch until they match. For this one, it ended up being minus six semitones. Add OTT and Camel Crusher to make it pop, mid side EQ and smooth operator to keep it clean. Set up your sidechain so that the kick hits in full before the other sounds come in. I use duck, but you can use an automated utility on your tracks to achieve the same results, but with a lot more work. It just sound kind of pumpy, like this. Okay, boys, there's a ton of space here in between the chords. What are we doing? Scanning ahead, deploying drone. Sova, you genius. Take the first vocal hit, run it through a lot of reverb, resample it, and you have a drone. Do the same thing with the super saw. Reverse the super saw and use it to fill the space. Add a crazy, over-the-top breakbeat fill to bring it into the actual buildup to keep it interesting. And a riser. And instead of a pre-drop vocal... Breach, my man! No, no, I, t I told you earlier, my name is Ash. Hey, hey, Jet, why don't you do the thing that you that you always do? Headshot. Yeah, nice. All together with the vocals, it should sound like this. What do you see?
Now, the original song is a pretty straightforward buildup. This could be the day I die for you. But remember, we're trying to capture Silver Rain of dramatic energy, so let's play around with traditional song structure. First, we're going to double the timing of the kick drum and keep doubling it over the next set of 16 bars. Add rise on the quarter note. And another breakbeat fill. Add hi-hats over the next set of 16 bars. Playing on the 16ths. I alternate velocity to give it variation. Continue the breakbeat in the background, but add an EQ and gate so it's subtle. Add white noise to fill out space. And risers. Altogether, the drums will sound like this. Guys, is the build going on for too long? I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Am I even a good producer? Oh, the stress. What would you do, Killjoy? If I'm not stressed, then you should not be stressed. I mean, look at me. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing Americans say, right? Canadian, actually. Bring in the chords from the chorus. But this time, have them play on each half note. Add an arpeggiator and set it to chord trigger mode. Set the rate to 1 8 and gate to 88. You see that? Same chord progression, but we changed up the rhythm a bit so that's familiar but different. Just like all of Riot's games. Match the bass notes with the same rhythm change by using arpeggiator. Find a nice, well-defined note in the vocal. Pitch it up and make an accent vocal chop that'll play on the offbeat. Pump up the drive on Little Alter Boy and add OTT with Camel Crusher. Do the same thing with a familiar phrase from the vocal. For you, for you. <laughs> I used I used for you because for you. that's you know that's, 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 that's the name of the song. <laughs> Write a melody for the drop and put it onto the flute and granulator sounds. That's, that's gonna be stuck in my head all day. And finally, a proper pre-drop vocal. This could be the day I die. Make sure to stretch out that last note for a dramatic effect. Altogether, it sounds like this. Finally, after 32 bars of buildup, bring in that dang snare. Because the beat is now officially in full force. As you can see, we've copied over everything from the buildup. All of the sounds are pretty much the same here because just like if you ever want to rank up, consistency is key. So instead of switching things up too much, like changing genres completely, like who, who would ever do that? Not me. Instead, we do a lot of subtle adjustments like changing the bass pattern so that it's a constant rolling bass. Add automation to the granulator so that it makes interesting accents and the repetitive melody doesn't feel so repetitive. Also, changing the melody a little bit on the very last run. Duplicate the flute layer and add seven semitones to the oscillator. Add lots of reverb and EQ it to put it in the background. This makes a nice background fifth layer to give more depth to the lead. Add a few top notes to the chord stacks to give it even more depth. And instead of using tom fills like every other producer, 
Use the vandal instead. Well, it looks like that came together pretty quick. Way faster than I thought. Thanks, guys. Everyone makes fun of German efficiency. Ha <laughs> ha. Just keep laughing as you use all my gear. I mean, I didn't really use any of your gear. All my stuff is just here in Ableton. My gear is actually pretty limited. But most importantly, don't let this song trick you into playing Valorant. That's the real crime I committed here. An endless void of sadness. Similar to what I feel if you don't like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But only if you learned something today. Now, let's take one last listen through the whole thing from the beginning. Thank you so much for watching. Now go make some bangers. Backside Deagle. Alright, scares off.